Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Generations Legacy lift ticket figure. So what we're going to do in a second in this video, we're going to unbox him live, have a look at all the contents that come inside the package. We're going to have a look at other lift ticket figures that have been released down the Generations toy line. And we'll also have a look at some of the figures that use and share, if not the same or very similar moulds as this particular figure. So before we get started, I'd like to thank Robot Recruits because that's the shop I brought this from and they got it to me nice and safely. One thing I want to point out before I open this up is this is the first official figure to have the new Legacy logo imprinted on it right there. And also you can see as well that this new Generation Selects packaging is far better than the ones that we're used to. And while we're looking at the packaging, I want to show you, because you can't really tell just by looking at it, how much smaller it is. So obviously Hasbro are trying to reduce, you know, costs, environmental costs with packaging, etc. This is just a standard uh, Generation Selects box there behind it. And you can see it is much bigger. So yeah, this is Grease Pit. And yeah, it's a lot bigger, about an inch and a half bigger that way and a centimetre that side. And it's quite a bit thicker. So they are doing their bit, which they said they were going to do for the environment. Anyway, back to lift ticket then. So let's have a quick look at this artwork there. Well, it looks like a data scan of him, doesn't it? And it does go all the way around. But there's nothing on the back, just a little bit of there. And then all the safety spiel. So let's have a look inside. So this is one of the figures, to be honest, that I was really excited about. And I know it's just, again, a redeco um, of the original hoist mould, which I haven't actually got. I've just got Trailbreaker. But what it does is it's incorporating some of the old Diaclone figures. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's brilliant. The inside's looking good. That's there. While I've still got him in the box, I just want to show you, and I did do a quick video on this. This is an original vintage Diaclone toy catalog so i would expect everybody to start seeing all of these soon we already have seen quite a few of these figures um like spin out and cord and etc but there is the original lift ticket right there with a lot of other familiar faces so there you go there he was originally here is his latest incarnation let's slide this out is it going to balance for me good and i want to quickly as well have a look at this because again this this is looking like what's going to be the new yep there it is the new instructions you can't sort of tell but this is a lovely shade of purple but there he is then so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to set him free and come straight back to you okay so here he is set free and let's have a quick look at him what i like to do now is first impressions before we look at him in more depth shortly so we've got this lovely translucent plastic which is going to be the windshield um again i like this head sculpt and of course as i said at the beginning i don't actually have hoist i've got trail breaker so this is a new experience for me i'll quickly briefly go over the articulation as you'd expect with a new figure it looks like it's got it all so full head articulation we have waist twizzle we've got shoulders this doesn't move from there but you can see it does rotate all the way around and the whole shoulder joint will move the arm up biceps uh, elbows wrists um, hips side slightly forward yeah knee tilt and of course ankle rock as i said i know i've just breezed over it but with all of these new figures it's pretty much the same now spinning him round i love the fact again we've got wrecker written down the side and i think this really bright yellow it just works with it i think it looks very very good i'm as you can tell i'm impressed with him so first impressions looking really good let's have a detailed look at him now in his alternate mode so then here we are in his alternate mode quick apologies for no transformation on this video that will be uploaded separately a to keep the length of the video down and two not to spoil it for yourselves now as you can see it does look really good there is one negative to this and i remember looking at this when i first saw pictures of it and that is literally that they are his hands underneath there like so and i've double checked as many times as i can and try to rearrange and try to move them but you just can't so I mean, when it's like that, it's not too bad. You can't tell. Um, and to be honest, I don't really display my figures in vehicle mode, so it's not going to affect me too much. But I can't help but be honest and say that that does irritate me just a little. But again, it, does, it still looks good. I still like the fact that it's got a great homage to G1. And although I don't actually have 
as I say, an original vintage Diaclone lift ticket. I will do a comparison in a second with hoist. I just wanted to show you that you can then fold these bits out on the top, take this bit over there, and then fold that down as well. So there you are, you really have got a great homage here to this particular guy. See, you've got the same stripes down the side, you've got the same lifting platform, which will do exactly the same for the G1 toy, or the Diaclone toy, obviously, which that was. Um, yeah, and it's it's quite a bit, it's just a little bit bigger. Of course, he's just far more updated. Let's turn these round and have a quick look at some other comparisons while we're here. And then, of course, I'll move this out of the way because there's just an accessory here that we have. There's your usual port, and you can then attach this to the side if you want. Any side, to be honest, you can attach it on the other side because there's also a port there. So you can attach some of the, you know, the battle masters if you wanted to, to this. Um, but there's not really much else to say apart from he displays okay in this mode, but he's got to be just off at an angle where you just can't see them arms. If, if you're anything like me, it's too noticeable, if I'm being honest. But like that, yeah, he looks really, really great. We're going to come back now then, and he's going to be in his robot mode with some more comparisons and again using his accessories. So we're back for the final time in his robot mode and we're going to do a couple more comparisons and round everything up. The reason we're back for him in his robot mode is because this is the way that I'm going to choose to display him in this particular mode. So we've got his accessory here again with the five millimeter port. There is an abundance of places you can attach this. So of course I've just gone for the standard in his hand, but if we turn him to the side, you can see there's a port there on his forearm, there on his top of his shoulder, just below the knee and the legs, and of course all the same on the other side. So you really can put the weapon anywhere, or of course use the battle masters, weaponizers, fossilizers, etc., and you can power him up accordingly. So there was actually another lift ticket released, but this wasn't mainstream. This was a Botcon 2015 figure. So there you can see, same color scheme, looking really good, but obviously the newer version is much bigger. And funnily enough, that obviously has highlighted that the new deluxe figure is bigger than an older deluxe figure, which you don't really get anymore. So yeah, that's 2015 Botcon, and that used the mold of Trail Cutter, which was of course Trail Breaker in the Thrilling 30 toys. So this is the most up-to-date Trailbreaker figure from the Earthrise toy line. Again, I don't have hoist, unfortunately, but you can see here they are using the same moulds, same legs, same front part, different head sculpt, etc. But it's a very, very, very similar toy and a good, again, homage to G1, which will lead us to, of course, what he actually is. He is a use of a hoist mould. So let's have a look at him compared with G1 hoist. And again, he is so much more improved, but you can see the similarities straight away. And you probably notice that on all the figures, I put all the weapons in their right hands. But on this particular one, the original, you've got the wings at the top and the folded up bit above the top of his head. You can do that as well with this guy. So we can fold these up like that and we can fold that bit over as well. You don't have to have them up or down. As I say, that's how I had them down at the beginning, just to show you that you could move them up. But in all honesty, as you can see, I think he looks great. It is a real, real good homage to the old Diaclone figures. Um, I love the fact it says Wrecker on the side. And if this is the shape of the Generation Selects figures to come, I'm liking it. And again, I know it's just going to be a lot of redecos because that's what they tend to be. But I suppose if they're this good then I'll probably be purchasing them as well. So I hope you like looking at this guy. I hope it helped you with your decision if you wanted to get one for yourself. I'm loving the packaging, loving the new instructions. And again, the figure I think is brilliant. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.